changing a burnt out bulb on the rear tail lights when I noticed that we had some uh, water leak on the passenger side it got in and really got the wood wet we put some spacers on it so it could dry out later on we put some epoxy on it and then I jumped on Amazon bought a new designed tail light that won't let the water leak in and here's how we put it in these are the old lights these are the new ones this one has LED the these two lights are LED uh, the turn signal is a regular incandescent bulb, but these two are LEDs. Uh, the best part about this is that on the old frame, you had to, in order to change the bulbs to get to them, you had to unscrew the whole frame. So the whole frame came off the side of the vehicle, which that seal is what seals the inside. Uh, these units, the frame, the frame gets mounted, in, mounted, and all you got to do is take off two screws, and the, the individual lens will come off in order to get to the bulb. So there's not nearly as many uh, spots for water infiltration. And from what I read on them, they also had a a drain on them to allow the water to drain out. If it got behind the thing, it drained up. Plus their LED. what the new one will look like and we'll get it over the old one and that's that's the old one that was leaking yep the new LED lights uh, the outside bolt pattern is the same not bolt pattern but the outside size is the same but the lights themselves take up more room so you end up having to actually cut a little bit out of the existing hole opening about a half to three quarter of an inch mine's about uh, three quarters maybe five eighths and you also have to square the corners off these are chamfered we'll have to square them off and then I'll have to take that out right there carefully so that I don't get into the uh, wall board but I've got my uh, tool mark blade will just sit there and shake it'll oscillate back and forth and it cuts like butter uh, I also marked my blade on the bottom for the depth so I know when I get to the proper depth so other than that you, uh, you cross your fingers and you start cutting and you keep your fingers out of the way uh, you can almost put your hand on these really it, it, it's almost <laughs> I wouldn't go Doing it. It's a lot like the saws that they cut caps off with. It doesn't, you know, it, it, because it's not ripping. Do that for all four corners? Do that for all four corners, right? Yes, yeah, so I square this one, I'll square this one out so it's not a chamfer. Square, mm. square, and then I have to cut this whole, that whole section out. Okay.
these from getting when they if they do get wet to keep them from soaking up the water and whatnot is to take some uh, two-part epoxy I'm just gonna mix it up in a can this is five minute epoxy so I'll have to work fast but uh, you probably want to get the 15 minute but they were out at Walmart so I couldn't get it you just put it in a cup stir it up and then I'll just brush it on and that's it and that'll waterproof it in case water ever does infiltrate later on again always get you some tongue depressors or what do you call them uh, 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 popsicle, sticks. popsicle sticks get them in the craft store at, at Walmart get the little Dixie cups that you get for your bathroom or whatnot keep these around mixing small amounts of paint uh, epoxies uh, crafts crafts oh my gosh you just these things are invaluable and and literally you use one boop, throw it away So what are you doing right now? I'm trying to reuse the harnesses that plugged in. Uh, so I'm connecting the wires up. The problem is, is the wires don't connect green to green, black to black, white to white. They don't, they don't match up. So it's been trial and error enough. You hitting the brakes and lights and turn signals and whatnot, trying to get this to cooperate. Cooperate. <laughs> mm. Nothing's easy these days. Yeah. Everything's got to be different. Aftermarket lights. Better than leaking ones. Better than leaking ones. First, I'm going to fill the cavity with butyl rubber. That's what that white stuff is? This is butyl rubber. This stuff like never hardens. It always stays soft and but dry. Once it dries, it's dry to the touch, but you can push it in and out. It's, it's gooey. It'll stay soft and, and spongy. Mm -hmm. But it is impervious to water. I mean, it, and I'm going to get it down in all those cracks and that way it'll seal up those holes if you have it just that that rigid epoxy then or a caulk that actually hardens uh, it can't expand and contract with you know and as you drive down the road this thing bounces and you know you know it's you know RVs aren't rigid you know they, they're they're flexing and bouncing and, and whatnot so this will help to make a seal that if water gets in there it will just beat it beat out or at least won't soak down in it'll and if you get this stuff on you it will not come off it will not come off clothing <laughs> I have clothing from work clothes from the construction days 
and uh, see it looks stringy. It's like it's like mozzarella cheese. Yum. I'm hungry for pizza all of a sudden. And then on the outside, I'm going to use clear RTV silicone or clear RTV sealant. That also, RTV is also uh, non hardening, stays soft, pal pal uh, pliable, uh, and it's also clear so you won't, you won't see a uh, you won't see it on the outside of the RV. I couldn't find black. All right, I got both sides wired up, but before I go and get these things stuck in permanent, we're gonna run some tests. So right now we got the running lights on or the parking lights are on, so those are good. Okay, turn on the right turn signal. Left turn signal. Hit the brakes. Okay, turn left signal off. Hit the brakes. Let off. All right. The, uh, the turn signals, though, are lighting all three of them up, but the way that the LEDs are listed, as in the wiring on them, it lists that all three of them are stop and turn. Uh, so it's not only just the right hand one that is white but uh, which is fine as long as the running lights are dim the brake lights are bright and the turning lights turn and brake at the same time we're all good to go so now we're gonna have to uh, put some RTV uh, sealant on these and put the housings in and see if we can't make this thing so uh, watertight more to come wipe that clean but you won't be able to see it since it's silicone clear 